Hi all, you're on the Low Digital Science channel and this is Gabriel as always. Today we have another review video for one of the devices that you can use as a digital signage player in a particular project. At the same time, usually we test the devices that represent the affordable mass market, but this time we'll talk about a completely different level. Okay guys, no more messing around. Today we have an Apple Mac Mini on the table. And in this video, we'll try to figure out whether it's worth considering this powerful but expensive device as a digital signage player. So now, let's get started with the unpacking, obviously. Apple, of course, has very few competitors in the world from design to materials, everything is just made at the highest level. A pure pleasure just uh, touching it. Really, you feel like a child when unpacking your favorite candy. On the other hand, what other emotions should you expect from the 800 bucks device? Diving inside, everything is extremely simple here. The device itself, the power cords and various documentations, including the warranty, obviously. And here, the first not very convenient moment arises in terms of using Mac Mini as a digital signage player. It is simply huge, about 20 to 20 centimeters, uh, as you can see. It's quite heavy as well, more than a kilo. And well, for example, I can't really imagine how this can be placed behind a TV mounted on the wall which is the most typical digital sign setup. On the other hand, there are many other options should one be willing. Further, I will not give much time to the device specs. Firstly, they are listed in the details on the Apple website, and secondly, they vary depending on the options offered. I will only note that we got probably the most common one with the 8 GB RAM and 512 GB of storage. The famous 8-core Apple M1 CPU is responsible for the performance here. I must say that the new Mac Minis have recently been released with the latest Apple M2 on board, but uh, what advantages it gives in terms of device operation is not yet very clear to us. So please, if you know, and if you have experience with that, share it in the comments below and uh, we're very curious about it. Now to the available interfaces that are of interest to us in terms of digital signage. There is a standard HDMI 2.0 with 4K over 60 Hz output and a pair of Thunderbolt ports, also known as USB-C. Everything is more interesting with them. So the thing is that if you will come up with the right adapter, for example, USB-C to display port, you can get resolution up to 6K over 60 Hz on your video wall. Well, let's try this monster in action. To do this, let's connect it to the TV via HDMI. Please note that there is no cable in the package, <laughs> so you will have to take care about it yourself. Uh, next, we need to install the Look application for the macOS Apple Silicon version on it launch it and get the six digit code for the connection to the CMS. As always, we test it on a complex scenario with dividing the screen into several areas and playing 4K videos and dynamic feeds at the same time. Well, no questions. Everything works just perfect without the slightest issues. To tell you more, we didn't stay there and tried several even more complicated scenarios hoping to identify at least some problems, but in vain. Well, to the conclusion. The Apple Mac Mini is perhaps the best ever device that we have ever tested in our lab in terms of performance. However, in our opinion, it has two rather significant shortcomings. Firstly, these are the dimensions, which I already mentioned above, and shorter the price, which is most important. I have a lot of doubts that the owner of a fast food restaurant will overpay 10 times for one player if he only needs to put a digital menu and a couple of videos on a simple TV. Our HD2214, or at worst Amazon Fire Stick, will work much better for him. On the other hand, perhaps you're looking for a device to power more complex projects 
with large screens and a high definition content. Save for a museum. In that case, I would recommend that you look closer at an Apple Mac Mini as a possible comparable in price alternative to well-known professional options from Spinatix or Brightside. Why not? That's all for today. Don't forget about likes and subscriptions. Guys, stay in touch and see you in the next videos, right? Bye.